In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use subqueries in an update statement. That's extremely powerful. So we're going to continue with the example from the last tutorial, but we're going to make it more interesting. Here we're updating all the invoices for client number three. But what if we don't have the idea of a client? We only have the name. For example, imagine you have an application and in that application, the user types in the name of the client. So first we should find the ID for that client and then use that ID to update all their invoices. How do we do that? Well, let's have a quick look at our client table. So here we have this client, my works. Let's say we have the name, we want to find the ID. So back to our query editor window. After this update statement, I'm going to write a select statement to select the client ID column from the client's table where name equals my works. Now here we have a syntax error because we didn't terminate the last statement with a semicolon, but don't worry about that. We're going to get back to that in a second. Let's just select these few lines and execute this query. The idea of this client is two. Beautiful. Now we can use this select statement as a subquery in an update statement. So as I told you before, a subquery is a select statement that is within another SQL statement. So instead of hard coding three here, we're going to use this select statement as a subquery, but we need to put it in parentheses. So MySQL will execute this query first. It will return the client ID and then use it in this condition. So for clarity, let's remove the line break and indent these few lines. So this is the end result. Now we execute this query and this updated all the invoices for this client. Now, what if this query returns multiple clients? For example, back to the client's table, let's imagine we want to update the invoices for all clients located in New York or California. So we need to update our subquery like this, where state in California and New York. Now, before executing the entire statement, let's just select our subquery and execute it to see what we get. So we get two client IDs, one and three, beautiful. Now, because this query, this subquery, returns multiple records, we cannot use an equal sign here anymore. So we need to replace this with the in operator. And now this statement updates the invoices for all clients located in these two states. Let's execute it. Beautiful. Everything worked. So as a best practice, before executing your update statement, run your query to see what records you're going to update. So you don't accidentally update the records that shouldn't be updated. Now here we have a subquery, but even if it didn't have a subquery, we could still query the records that we're going to update. Let me show you. So let's imagine we're going to update all the invoices where payment date is null. Before executing this entire update statement, I would run a query like this. Select star from invoices where payment date is null. Now let's execute this query. These are the two records that don't have a payment date. So once we're confident that we're updating the right records, then we come back here and get rid of this select statement and just attach the where clause to our update statement. All right, here's your exercise for this tutorial. Back to our SQL store database. Look at the orders table. As you can see, some of our orders don't have a comment. I want you to write a SQL statement 
to update the comments for orders for customers who have more than 3,000 points. So customers who have more than 3,000 points, we regard them as gold customers. Find their orders. If they have placed an order, update the comments column and set it to gold customer. That's a really good exercise. All right, first we need to find the gold customers. So select everything from the customers table where points is greater than 3000. And by the way, because the current database is SQL invoicing, we either have to type out a use statement on the top or double click this database before executing this query. So there you go. We have three gold customers. Now we need to get the ID of these customers to use them in an update statement. So we only select customer ID here and then use this select statement as a sub query and an update statement. So update orders set comments to gold customer where customer ID because we're dealing with multiple customer IDs we need to use the in operator and then to use this as a sub query we need to enclose it in parenthesis that's it let's indent the code that's better so here's the final solution